Hi, my name is Heidi Lestracco from Speak for Yourself, and this is the Speak for Yourself AAC app. I am making this video today to show you a new feature that we have added to version 3.3 of Speak for Yourself, and it's called User Flip. So when you first, after you install this update, when you first open the app, what you'll notice is up top here, in the top center, it says, you can see very lightly there that it says new, but when I touch it, nothing happens. That's how it is going to be when you open the app for the first time after installing the update because we didn't want to give access to all of the users that you have um, saved within the app without you knowing that you're definitely doing that. So what you want to do to use user flip is actually hit the home button to go into the iPad settings and then scroll down to speak for yourself. And if you see right here under the lock features, um, the second from the bottom here, it says user flip lock for all users. So what you want to do is you want to turn that lock off in order to use it. So now when I go back in to speak for yourself, you're going to see that that new is bolded a little bit. And now when I touch it, it's going to bring up all of the different users that I've added and all of the different vocabularies. So what we um, are doing is we're gonna, going to give you the ability to switch between various users. So if you have a student, for example, who has CVI, um, cortical visual impairment, you're able to go in and switch quickly to that setting. If you have someone who's just starting, you can switch over to the beginner setting and so on. You can just very quickly, as you see, just flip between the different users. Another way that you can use this is if you are saying, okay, you know, I really want to target some of the project core words. So right now I'm going to flip over to this so that those words are isolated and showing to my um, student and they're able to focus on just those words. Of course, you can still install, as when you add users to the app, you're still able to go in and um, save their settings so that they have all of their customizations in there if you're going to specifically target words for individual users. So um, you're able to go ahead and flip between that. None of the editing can be done for users with this. So if you do want to add users or delete users, what you can do is you would still go in the same way under vocabulary and under user and here you see you have all of your editing and this is where if you know there is someone you want to delete you can go ahead and do that if there's a user you want to add you can go ahead and do that as well so all of that stays the same the only change that we made is your ability to very quickly just flip between the different students that you have or the different user areas that you have for your one particular student so that is user flip I hope you find it useful